What's up guys, my name is Anil and in this React Native Project video tutorial we will see how we can fetch API and we can render the data on this screen. So first of all let's look out the points of this video. So we will test our API on the postman then we have to import the state and the use effect hook then we will fetch the API. After that we will use the flat list to render the API data and uh, in this video guys we are not going to focus on the style because the next video will completely for the design for this uh, list all right so uh, yeah and these two points are uh, as you know in the previous video we talk about the json server and these commands are for starting the json server right when you uh, working with the react native then you must have to use your ip to run your uh, json server even you can use also this the normal command without the IP but this will provide uh, run your IP on your local host but this will provide the IP right so this is the referred and recommended uh, way to start the JSON server right so now let's start our API first of all and uh, I am just going to close this first of all I will just going to restart it and let's uh, just go on the API folder and here we have a db.json file and just run this command all right and if you don't know how we can just find the IP then uh, you just have to use the if config in your Ubuntu system and you will find the IP here and if you are using the Windows system then you will have to use your IP config all right this will not actually work on the uh, Ubuntu and Linux system so now let's open this command on the terminal and here you can see that we have a sixth row or the sixth data for the restaurant and let's test it on the uh, postman also so just simply right here and run it here you can see that we got the sixth data and now let's start with the code as you know uh, first of all we have to import the state and the uh, use effect hook so uh, yeah, there is already some style in our application and have some text which is this so I am just going to completely Remove the old things we don't need for a moment So let's just remove them and I can also remove this text and now we have a completely blank screen You can also remove this style if you want right so now let's uh, just import the box with the use state as well as use effect and uh, guys if you don't know about the use effect and use state then you can just go through our playlist link is given in the description box so now let's define the state first of all and destruct the use state it will take the two variable with the name of uh, restaurant it can be different you can take any name and the set restaurant actually I just this is a complete list and more than one that's why I'm just going to took the restaurants and uh, set restaurants so just write here use state uh, uh, use state and initial value can be a blank array because we are going to use our array here right so after that uh, okay so let's close it we don't need this window okay and let's use a use effect hook and as you know it will take a uh, callback function and in the second parameter I'm just going to pass a blank uh, uh, array so that it will run only once and it will behave like a uh, component did mount right so now here let's uh, call the fetch API and in the fetch we must have to define the URL of the API right then we can use then and this then basically uh, will uh, async process that's why we have to use the then to parse it and again we can use again um, data dot then here we will get the result because we have to parse the stringify to the JSON and let's get the result from here and result uh, now let's uh, console dot want this result like this right 
so i hope everything should be fine and we will get the just use semicolon on the every end of the statement all right so here uh, uh, we got some error mm -hmm. let me check what's wrong with it mm -hmm. for that uh, let's just remove the inner statement first of for a moment let's format it we have to debug it and uh, we can just run this uh, let's find what, what we are getting in the data uh, uh. yep this is working fine we got the data but uh, this is not in json format as we know that's okay yep and uh, then just write here data dot json i think i just forgot that you use it dot json in the previous video but uh, that's okay it will work for now and here i can just uh, use uh, result right and let's console dot one here and let's find out what we got in the json yep now we, we got the data that's perfect right and let's uh, remove this warning and uh, let's make it a little bit uh, mm, you can see that uh, looking good good because this is uh, not formatted all right so now just uh, collect this data in the set state so just use here set restaurant and pass here result simply all right perfect after that what do we have to do we have to uh, we got the data inside the state now we have to just render here so for that we need a flat list so just grab the flat list here and uh, flat list are be used here as a component and flat list will take actually two parameters um, one is the data and another one is the uh, render item all right so let's define the two items here so data and data will become from the restaurant uh, 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 restaurants which is that one all right and the second parameter will be the render item and render item basically just define a object and uh, it will just return a callback inside the callback it return the item as an uh, object right and let's item and let's write it as an callback function and now i am wrapping the complete uh, response it inside a view all right so okay and now let's take a text also here inside the text you just need to write here item dot name and you will find the name of the restaurant here right so this is uh, really very small so that i just want to add here some style like font size can be 18 this is fine now but uh, i can just take this uh, one more data like email then you will get in the next line so as i told you we are not focusing on the style but this is uh, not really really looking good so it's like uh, we have the this is the next row all right this is the next object but uh, so that i can just for a moment i can just uh, put here uh, uh, email like this and now you will find this complete row here all right and again if you want you can add the address here all right so uh, in the next video we will make a table here and we will put this data completely inside the style all right so the data is fast here but this is not looking good due to the style so that's it for this video thanks for watching this video in the upcoming video as i already told you we will focus on the style then we will make a form submit the data and we will do lots of things all right so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care